Hello, beautiful. If we have never met, I am Jaya Rose from thejayarose.com, and I am leading you on this magnetic embodiment experience. And today is so juicy that I had to get on video to share it with you because it's all about desires. The idea is that you are allowed to want more, and you're not only allowed to want more, but please do. Please want more. Please show us a new way of what is possible when you fully step into the aligned truth of who you are. And the truth of who you are is that you want more. Am I right? So what we are doing today is declaring it. We're owning it and saying, Yes, I want more, and this is what it looks like, and this is what it feels like, and this is why, and this is the space I am holding for it. Now, before I dive into exactly what your prompt is, first I want to give you a pep talk, and it is this. You are probably not taught to desire what you desire. You were not given a roadmap and a blueprint of exactly how to do what it is you desire to do with your own soul path. And that being said, it means you must forge a new way, which you already know, don't you? But the forging a new way does not have to be done with a bulldozer, and it doesn't have to be done in a really strenuous, let me stress the fuck out about this kind of way. It doesn't. It can be easeful because when you declare your desires and you align with them and you hold the vibration, which I call holding a spiritual plank you become a magnet, hence the magnetic embodiment. But without the declaring, without the owning, and without addressing all the, the feelings that come up when you actually ask for what you want, we are stuck in the same repetitive loop, and most likely that is the loop that you were taught, not the loop you are choosing to live inside of now. So for the sake of this exercise, what I want you to do is to pick one desire, one, the top desire that's coming up for you right now. It's the thing that you are admitting that you want, but are you fully embodying that you want it? And are there potentially some like guilty feelings or some shameful feelings or like, who am I to want this? And that's the kind of desire I want you to work with here. The kind that feels big. Okay, not the parking spot and not just like someone taking you out to dinner or some random small thing. I'm talking big time soul path desires. And I know that's why you're here. So get real. Use this opportunity because you are watching this video right now because I am looking at you, you, yes, saying to you, it is time. It is time to step up and the calling that you feel for more is yours. And because you want more, that more is wanting you. There is nothing that you possibly could be thinking that you want more of, visualizing in your mind, dreaming about or imagining that is not real. It is already real. Therefore, your logical brain can even think of it. You're not reinventing the wheel. You are forging a new path for you and the paradigm you are going to. Yes? And in that, I want you to know that all of what you desire is available to you right now. It is available, but not without owning it. Okay, so here we are. I want you to declare the big thing that you desire. Now I'm going to walk you through an example. The example is that I desire to guide 100 women through my signature program and body a year in four quarters. Okay. This is what I desire. Now I could say, how is that going to happen? Well, that's, I could add up the money. That's multiple six figures. Oh my God. How is that all going to work? Can I really do it? But no, I'm going to stay the course. And instead of getting into all that stuff, instead, I'm going to ask myself why, and this is what I'm going to ask you. Why? Why do you desire this for something bigger than you? I call this the soul portion of your desire. Okay? So this is for your soul, for the larger mission that be. All right? 
Why do you desire it? Now, I would say why I desire this is because I know that Embody and the work I'm doing is so much bigger than me and that it impacts women's lives in such a positive way so they can trust themselves more, live in their power, and be in full soul alignment to attract in all that they desire. And when that happens, that creates a ripple effect of positive change. It raises the vibration of not only those women, but the families they're in, the children they're raising, and everybody's lives they touch. Ha! Ah, okay? Like I'm zinging. I feel it. Do you feel it? That's how powerful your big why, your soul aligned why is. But then don't stop there. We're not stopping there. We're saying, yes, and. Of course you want this for something bigger than you. You're here to help right? Are you a helper? Do you want to help? You want to be on this planet to do something good? Awesome. Great. But guess what? You're an individual and you're a real person in a human experience and you get to desire stuff for you. <laughs> Yay. You get to desire stuff for you. So then you're going to say, hey, well, why do I desire this for me and for my human self? And what I say to that is I desire it because it makes me feel good. I love to be in a leadership position. I love teaching and I love coaching. When I actually get to share this mission with the world and get on these coaching calls, I get to be who I see myself as being. And that makes me feel good on a personal level, maybe in an ego way. Fine. Awesome. Celebrate that. And then in return, as I create a six-figure, multiple six-figure business, I get to be the woman I know I've always meant to be in my full power. I get to be generous. I get to donate to charities that I believe in. And I get to feel secure and safe in my purpose and sharing that with the world. Okay. Yay. I desire that. So this is what I want to know. What do you desire? Why do you desire it on a large scale for more than just you? And why do you desire it for you? Get clear. Sink in. Take the time to answer this and allow whatever feelings come up to come up. Because for me to stand here and boldly tell you what I desire has taken a lot of getting through resistance. Trust me, there has been a lot of resistance that has come up over the years and years of me pursuing what I actually desire. So allow the resistance to be. Allow your awareness of the resistance to be celebrated because the awareness is always the thing to celebrate. Even if the thing you're celebrating or the awareness for isn't what you want, right? You don't want to have resistance. You don't want to be critical of yourself. You don't want to judge yourself for what you desire. Yet when you give yourself the opportunity to celebrate the awareness of the judgment, we get to shift and we take back control and the power. And this is all about claiming your personal power and you as a person in your power gets to desire whatever the fuck you want to desire, okay? Because you're a good person. Because when you desire something, it's laced with soul work and something bigger than you that's meant for the good of all. Am I right? So trust yourself and trust your desires. I am so excited to see what you come up with and just know that this is the deep inner work that transforms your relationship with receiving and also with giving. And you become magnetically embodied and abundant. How good is that? Okay. Bye.